Hey you guys, today I'm just going to do a real quick overview of what I thought about the Netflix original Margot Luke Cage series. I thought that show was amazing. I'm not too much into superhero um, shows, but I really enjoyed this series. I finished the whole season today. Well, I started yesterday and I finished today. had 13 episodes. It was really good. It was like um, a hoodie wear. It's like a hoodie wearing unbreakable ex con fights to clear his name and save his neighborhood. He wasn't looking for a fight, but the people need a hero. And when I say this movie is amazing, because the guy that played Luke Cage played the hell out of that role. Um, um it was her Avery? Is it Avery Woodard, the lady that plays on Queen Sugar? The Auntie on Queen Sugar, she played the hell out of the cousin role on here. I liked her character. Well, I liked her, then I didn't like her. Um, Rosaria Dawson played the hell out of her role. I don't remember her name on here, but her character, I liked her role. She played like a nurse to help um, Luke Cage. Um, but it was really a good episode. It, it, it's... It show it goes kind of back and forth because it starts off with him being a barber. It starts with him. I mean, not even a barber. He works at the barber shop. He sweeps the floor. Some of the guys can't understand why he is at a barber shop or whatever working there if he's not a barber. Like, what is he doing sweeping floors and stuff? But I like how he told homeboy, like, you know, it's still work. You know, regardless of what I do, it's still work. It's still a man work and stuff like that. So I thought that was good. I like how it had a lot of um, black power, kind of black lives matter kind of moments in the series because it it just showed you what a lot of black people went through. I like how where when he was at certain monuments, when a boy had the gun to his head at the beginning of the episode and kind of at the end of that episode, where the boy had the gun to his head and he was like, "Do you know where I am? We standing at right now?" And he told him about. They, they they spoke of the history of the man where they were standing at that monument. But I just like how they just show a lot of black history in Harlem. That was really cool. Um, the music was amazing. But they had a lot of artists, musical artists. That was Everybody that sung in that club was good. Um, I, it was like the closest to the... Was it the end, the last episode? Yeah, the last episode where that, the, the, the bald-headed kind of lady um, was singing, she sunk her ass off. They had Udana, is that his name? Oh, the classic man? Oh, he's so fine. They had him, and I like that song that he sung up in there. Um, they had Met the Man in there, and that rap that Met the Man did with, um, I think it was, was it Kate? You know, that radio show with our boy. <laughs> I can't think of his name. But, um, when he... He, um, Luke Cage had saved Method Man from a robbery at a store. And, um, Method Man had went on a radio show and was telling the people of the community that Luke Cage was a hero and stuff like that because it was like a miscommunication of was Luke Cage a hero or was he a villain? You know what I'm saying? Because he started out a hero, he started out helping the community, but then the crooked people in the community kind of turned the community against him. So he kind of had to clear his name with that. He had to clear his name on being, um, he had broken out of jail. So he had to clear his name from that. He had these superpowers that was like, I need them. You know, I need those superpowers. Oh my God, if I had those superpowers, I don't know if I would be this nice. Miss Nika, I'm telling y'all, I might fuck up a, cu a couple of people with them superpowers that he had, I'm just saying. Especially when you see that he bulletproof, then they end up having to make some bullets to um, try to kill him. I was just like, oh, I need them powers. I, I don't give a fuck about them bullets that they needed, because it took him a while to get those. But I'm telling you, I need them powers. But I, I love the storylines of the thing. I like how... Um, the cop girl that was kind of helping him but wasn't sure if he was um, innocent or not. I liked her role because I like that shit, that one episode where she was trying to go question the boy on the basketball court and they kind of played horse. 
and she schooled his ass because her name was on a basketball court. She had used to be a basketball store, but she had she had ties to the community because she grew up there as well. But it was like shows you how people were trying to fight for power in Harlem as well as trying to keep the drug game going, the gun game going, political game, and just trying to keep the community in whole as one. Um, they had a guy named Pop at the beginning that kind of held the community together. He was the one that everybody, he was neutral territory. And then once they killed him, it was it was on and popping with Luke Cage. Um, but overall, I really liked the show. Um, Shades, I liked him and I didn't like him because he, he was a sneaky bastard. Um, what's his name? Cottonmouth, I couldn't stand him. I couldn't stand him. I was so, when, he, when, <laughs> when his cousin got his ass, I was sitting there like, that's what he get. Because when he told her she wanted it, I was like, that's what she get. I'm trying not to I'm trying to tell you about this show without giving too much away because some people are taking a time to watch it and some people just binge watched it over the weekend like I did. But it's a really good show. I recommend that people watch it. Even if you're not into superhero movies, this is really a good show. Um I'm gonna give y'all secrets some little tips if you ain't got netflix watch 32.is has it i'm just saying um showbox might have it i'm just saying <laughs> i'm just trying to help y'all out but um yes i just really want all y'all to watch it support this show it's really good actors and actresses in the show a lot of people that i watch from queen sugar is on the show like the girl that's married to the basketball player on queen sugar she's on here as a reporter um, but like I said, if you guys have watched it, y'all tell me what you guys thought about it. Who are your faves in the show? Who are you can't stand in the show? My fave is Luke um, Cage and the nurse girl that helped him through um, out the end of the season. I liked her. I like her mama. Um, but yeah, I'm hoping to come back for a second season because he end up going to jail at the end so I want to see how that kind of plays out and you know a lot of the key players they end up not making it through the season so other people have to step up so I want to see how they play out with Luke Cage but like I said if you like it or if you didn't like it tell me what you thought about it either way um follow me on all social media sites by the ghetto view t-h-a not t-h-e but like I said, once again, I really, really enjoyed the show. I enjoyed the music. I enjoyed the acting in the show. Um, I enjoyed the action in the show. Um, when he found out about his half-brother, oh, it was, I hated his half-brother. I was, I hated him. But you see how they look, they, they set it up for him to come back on the second season. So I can't wait for, to see how that play out. Um, yeah, and I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Someone asked me to review it. I decided to review and tell you guys what I thought about this um, season. So, yeah, that's what I thought about Marvel Luke Cage season one, the whole season. I wasn't doing it one by one. Sorry. Um, and I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Peace.